guys, Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make sculpted cake balls in the shape of blueberries. However, amongst these blueberry shaped cake balls is a hidden puppy face. And if you don't look closely, you might miss it. <laughs> so let's get started. To make cake balls, you just wanna crush up some cake in a bowl and get it nice and fine and crumbly. And then you're gonna add a little bit of icing at a time until you have a texture that you can pack into a ball shape. There's no exact recipe for this because some cakes are a little bit moist than others and some icings are a little bit drier than others. So really, you just wanna add a little bit of icing at a time. I use chocolate ganache in this case until it's all mixed in and it almost has kind of like a Play-Doh texture. I push my finger in it and it keeps its shape. That's gonna be the perfect texture for a cake ball. Next, I'm going to roll the cake ball mixture into balls. And I'm gonna make them, you know, about the size of a golf ball and they're not gonna be perfect because I want them to be slightly different sizes because blueberries come in slightly different sizes. <laughs> Once you have your cake balls in your round shape, you wanna pop them in the fridge. And while you do that, you're going to make your modeling chocolate. I started with a light blue, and then I'm adding a little bit of royal purple to get that perfect light blueberry color. And then I'm gonna go in later and paint darker areas. Now, typically a cake ball is coated in melted chocolate. However, with these, I wanna be able to sculpt the outside layer of the cake ball. So I'm going to use modeling chocolate instead. And modeling chocolate is very similar to chocolate. We have a tutorial so you can make your own at home. You can also purchase it online. Basically, it's white chocolate uh, mixed with clear corn syrup. And just like you would cover a cake in fondant or modeling chocolate, you wanna kind of pull the edges out while you curve the chocolate around the cake ball. Then I pick up the cake ball and I twist it at the end and then I start to blend out all those creases. Modeling chocolate, you're, it's, it's just beautiful. It blends really easily and it makes this super easy. Next, I'm going to make the blueberries and I want them to look as realistic as possible. I'm taking this tool that kind of has a wedge shape and I am pushing in just to manipulate the chocolate to create the top of the blueberry where it kind of fans out in a circle shape. It really isn't too much more complicated than that. I'm just really taking what's already there, I'm not adding anything, and I'm manipulating the chocolate. And I go around, thin out that edge with my fingers just by pinching the chocolate, and then I want it to kind of ripple and wave a little bit. Anytime I'm sculpting, I have images of what I'm sculpting um, up on my laptop. So I've got blueberries, a bunch of different kinds of, you know, shapes and size blueberries uh, that I use as a reference. So I am going to do that with quite a few. I did about six of them. Next, I want to sculpt the puppy blueberry that's going to be amongst the regular blueberries. And I'm going to start with his nose. And I'm using sculpting tools to kind of go in there and get the basic shape of his face. Once I have the basic shape and I have the proportions how I want them, I go in and I add the details, starting with the nose. You can definitely make a cartoon version of this puppy. It doesn't have to be realistic. I went realistic, but I think it would be equally as cute to have a cartoon puppy face amongst realistic blueberries. If it starts to get a little too soft because you are handling it and it is chocolate, you can just put it in the fridge, uh, let it harden up for a few minutes, and then bring it back out and it'll be easier to handle. I have made many puppy faces out of modeling chocolate. We have a bunch of videos. Um, you should check them out. They're all a little different. Then I want to go in and paint them. So this is just blue, purple, and black gel food coloring. And you can use an extract, like a lemon extract, something that's clear to water down the food color. And then when you paint on the chocolate, it'll kind of evaporate and just leave the color behind. Or you can use an alcohol. And I start out with just getting a bunch of color on. I want that all over blue, the basic blue color. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add darker areas and lighter areas. 
These are really big blueberries. Now with white powder food color, I'm gonna add some highlights. And blueberries are very splotchy. There's definitely some really dark areas and really light areas, so I wanna mimic that. Something that I think really helped make these look more realistic was that I went in with a very soft bristled brush. Um, it's almost like a like a blush brush, like a makeup brush, and I just tapped. It's completely dry. There's no color on it, and I just tapped the areas that are already painted on the blueberry, and it gave it this really soft effect, which I thought definitely captured the blueberry more. You don't want to see brush strokes. You want it to kind of be soft. Next I want to paint the puppy and this is kind of fun because I want it to sort of look like a blueberry <laughs> but also I want to highlight areas that would be highlighted on him. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in blue and then I go in and I'm going to add highlighted areas around his lips and around the top of his head and the top of his nose, probably around his eyebrows. So it still looks like a puppy face but at the same time if you kind of just glanced at it, it and it's with the other blueberries it may just kind of disappear and look like the blueberry <laughs> and there you have it a pup berry amongst blueberries all cake balls all super delicious don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if there's a tutorial you'd like to see let me know in the comments below